Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this really cute fall set. Um, I absolutely love how it turned out and I really hope you guys like it as well. It's kind of like a blinged out uh, fall inspired look. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be getting started. Um, I'm going to be going in with this color French Toast, I believe is what it's called, from Madame Glam. And this is going to go on the pointer finger. I really wanted to go with a really pretty fall freestyle for this set. And you guys, what's crazy is this set was never supposed to be for me. I was actually just making it for a video and then I was going to post it up on my Instagram and see if anyone wanted to purchase it. But I'm going to be going in with number 31 by Raya's Nails now. It's a really nice nude and I'm going to be doing that on the middle finger, thumb, and um, yeah, the middle finger and the thumb. And I am going to make sure to do two coats of this color because I don't want it to be sheer. I knew for sure that I wanted this set to be matte. And then next I'm going to be going in with this color called Scarecrow, also by Madame Glam. And this is a really nice kind of uh, orangey or like a very warm uh, brown. It has like an orange undertone and I am going to be doing that on the pinky. And then I'm going to be doing the same colors on this hand as well. Okay, now I have two coats of all the colors that I need. I'm going to be using this color right here by Madame Glam. Uh, I, I totally didn't see the name of it, but I did just show it. I'm going to be using this black gel polish. This one's from Nails by Dev. I really, really like it. And I'm going to be going in with just a bunch of different colors because I really wanted to do a plaid nail. And I actually do end up doing the plaid nail right here on the pointer finger, right on top of the French toast color, the really nice burnt orange. So I really, you guys had no inspo going into this. I had no idea what I wanted to do other than like a really nice cozy fall vibe. Um, so I'm grabbing a bunch of different colors and I do end up going with different shades of orange as well, like a little bit lighter so you can see it better. But I'm just going to be going in with the plaid nail design you want to start off with one line a little bit that's not in the middle you want it to be a little bit more to the like one other side of the nail so you can do either more to the left or more to the right you kind of don't want it to be centered just because i feel like that's what gives it that plaid nail look and you're just going to go in with some other lines going the other way around so vertical and make sure to use a really nice long liner brush for this so that you make your line super nice and crisp that's the key when you want a really nice straight line um, it just gives you more control if you have a really tiny brush uh, you can see all the mistakes and everything like that so make sure you're using a longer one instead of a shorter one and yeah so I'm going to go in with the lines and then I do end up going with just a whole bunch of different colors and you guys will kind of see what I mean by that but I'm curing in between each one and that's what makes this kind of time consuming just a little bit the plaid nail um just because you have to go back and forth back and forth but you guys the end result is so worth it i absolutely love it because it turned out so pretty um so as you can see it's already starting to kind of look like plaid using different shades is definitely a key as well you guys can also incorporate this later on for christmas you guys can do like a red a green and white plaid or like a black and a silver for like different holidays so like there's definitely a bunch of different colors combinations that you guys can do with this if you want to do like a girly halloween or girly fall vibe you can even incorporate some light pink um and different shades of orange and stuff like that you can just really go anywhere with this design this is why i really love it i'm going to be taking some of this dark brown as well this color is called oh my gosh you guys i didn't even see that either but i'm going to have the colors linked for sure um and that one was from nail reserve so yeah i'm going in with this brown i really love this brown it was part of their nude collection actually and um yeah so i'm going to be doing that and then also i really wanted to say before i just keep going 
another key with doing plaid is you definitely want to add some white and some black lines you want the white lines to be thinner and the black lines to be just a little bit thicker than the white this really makes it look like a plaid nail and makes it stand out so much you guys will see once i add those colors in what i mean by that So once I had the plaid design, I'm showing you guys right there what it looks like. It's so pretty. Once I had the design I really liked, I'm going to go in with my matte top coat. This is my favorite matte top coat along with the Koopa matte top coat. So this one is from Not Polish. Uh, Not Polish and Koopa, they're my favorites. I usually get them on Tulip Nail Supply or TulipRealDeal.com. Um, I always get my uh, top coats from there just because they have a whole bunch of different brands and stuff. So I like having like variety. Um, and I've always tried to search for the best matte but these are for sure the best. I've also tried Beatles, I've tried uh, Born Pretty, I've tried Macar, and you guys, none of them compare. I hate when the matte looks like it's a little bit shiny. These are very nice and mattified, so that's why I really like them. Um, so I'm just making sure I'm doing a nice coat, and I always like to double check before I cure it, just to make sure that there's no empty spaces, because you'll definitely be able to see that shininess underneath. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking my gold Madam Glam paint pot. You guys, there's nothing like this gold right here. It's so gorgeous. If you guys are going to get something from Madam Glam, I highly recommend you get this. It's absolutely stunning. I will have it linked. And I think I have a discount code with them still. So I will make sure to uh, put that as well just in case if you guys need to save some money. Um, but I'm just adding a little bit of, a little bit of gold um, like accents and you guys the best thing about this paint pot is there is no sticky layer so it is actually like a top coated um gel top coat if that makes sense it's no wipe so it just dries like a normal top coat and i'm obsessed with it because it allows you to do designs like this where you could go ahead and um accentuate nails and add it on top of a nail that already has the top coat like base uh top coat either matte or glossy and it lets you add the glitter and you don't have to add another top coat on top of the glitter because it's already set and it's done so that's what i'm absolutely obsessed with i'm like literally staring at my nail right now it's so pretty it looks like i added a top coat but i didn't so i'm showing you guys right there it dried completely dry and it looks 
looks so cute um and i did add the gold lines on the sides of the black lines i didn't cover them so you want to make sure that the black uh lines are still showing through and um then after this is when i was kind of thinking of what else i should do um, on the ring finger so i actually loved that gold so much and i actually use it all the time but i loved it so much that i wanted to grab a poly gel brush or this is like a gel application brush and i'm just dipping it in straight into the paint pot and i'm going to be covering this whole ring finger in this gold color it's just so pretty so bronzy and it just really gives me fall vibes like those really cozy fall vibes with like the flannel but like still glam you know what i mean and that's totally right up my alley um i really like glam mixed with other things like spooky glam fall glam uh christmas glam things like that it's just so pretty to me so i really love the way this looked and i did make sure to do two coats just to make sure there's no sheerness in the nails at all and this nail is going to be glossy so now looking at the set i knew for sure that i wanted to somehow add a little pumpkin in the nail or a few pumpkins or that's what i was thinking about in the moment so i'm going to be taking electric orange from nail reserve and i'm mixing that with just a tiny bit of the french toast uh color from madam glam just to make it a little darker because electric orange is definitely a neon and i really wanted to make this cute pumpkin color so we're going to be painting a little pumpkin you guys it's so easy it's almost like drawing a heart shape or it is like drawing a heart without the pointed bottom so you want the bottom to be flat like a pumpkin or kind of round so this is what it looks like and it doesn't matter too much because we are going to be adding white accent uh, just to really make the pumpkin pop a little bit more so i'm using a little brush for that so that the pumpkin can be nice and round and then i'm going to be going in with a longer brush for the white accents on the pumpkin so i'll show you guys right now what i mean um you guys i always have a habit of cleaning my brush and then i realize later after uh, like afterwards that i still need to go in and do the other hand i always do that and then i end up having to get the brush dirty again but it's literally just a habit i don't know why i have like like phobia of forgetting to clean my brushes because i know it really damages them but anyways, you guys, I'm a little bit out of frame, but I'm just outlining the pumpkin and adding these little lines. You guys will be able to see it more in the next hand. I didn't even realize I was out of frame here, but I'm just adding little lines to really accentuate it. You kind of just want to draw little curved lines going each way of the pumpkin. So like a curved line going left, going down left, and then you're going to draw like a few. And then on the right side, you're going to draw like three curved lines going down right. Uh, you guys can kind of see what I mean there. But like I said, with, when I do the next hand, you'll be able to see it a little bit better and then i just connect it to the bottom of the pumpkin and right here is where you could really see what i mean so i'm just going in with the little pumpkin shape on the bottom that's kind of curved in and then you're going to connect them and then i'm going to show you the little lines where you connect them on the sides it just really gives it that pumpkin look and you want to make sure to use a thin skinny brush so that you get the crispy lines so that your lines aren't too thick um it just really helps you so you can see the orange under underneath still like you don't want to take away from that so yeah just like this it's so easy you guys i promise you could definitely do it um and i really hope you guys try it out you guys can even make pink pumpkins whatever color you want and then i am going to be adding a little stem and for the little stem after this i'm just mixing a little bit of brown with green gel polish just so it doesn't look too brown and too green because i know pumpkins actually like when you go to a pumpkin patch they're actually brown stems but i didn't want it to be too brown so i added a little bit of green um and it's so cute i'm so obsessed with it and then i am going to be putting rhinestones around it you guys already know i love incorporating little images with rhinestones it just makes all the difference and i never see people do that honestly like i think i just started doing that on my own and then i've never even seen people do it so you guys should definitely try it out i'm going to be using my mccart rhinestone gel and i'm just going ahead and i'm going to be um putting rhinestones around it so i'm going to be using random colors and going in with kind of a random bling placement but i have told you guys before that using different shapes of rhinestones definitely makes a difference and i am going to be using little pearls as well something else i wanted to say is i totally forgot to top coat my pumpkin before i even started doing this so i had to top coat afterwards and then it made me have to like be super careful around the crystals because i wanted it to be matte so i kind of did it to myself but i just wanted to say that really quickly if you want it to be matte like mine just make sure you do the matte first before you put your rhinestones on and yeah so uh i also wanted to say one more thing sorry you guys i talk so freaking much but i don't really recommend mccart rhinestone gel 
on top of a matte top coat. I don't know why. I just feel like it would adhere better if I used Zule glue. So Zule's nail glue, uh, just use that on top of matte. I feel like it works better. I just totally ran out. Well, I didn't run out. My glue completely dried up. So I need to stop leaving it like, you know, um, out in the open. I need to keep it in the fridge like she recommends. But yeah, I ran out of Zule's. But if I didn't run out, I would definitely be using that glue. And then I did make sure to mattify um, all the rest of the nails. The only nail that I actually did put a top coat on top of was the ring finger. Even though it has no uh, sticky layer or anything, I just wanted it to be protected. So I did top coat the gold. Um, but I am matte top coating right now the rest of the hand so that I can, or the rest of the set, so that I can go ahead and apply some bling on top of it. So I really wanted to use my new charms. I actually just got these charms. I showed them in my haul video, which was my last video. So you should totally check it out. I actually linked them there. Um, and I am using these little orange rhinestones. I did get these from AliExpress a while back and they do come in a little box. I will link these and um, yeah, I love these charms. They're so cute. 
so pretty but i feel like i'm kind of getting annoyed like you guys i'm not used to having nails on and i feel like the charm's b bothering me like it gets stuck on stuff sometimes but um it's so worth it because every time i look at my set i'm so obsessed with it and i feel like it looks so pretty and i just literally am so in love with them like i could not explain it anymore but i'm so obsessed and I feel like I keep trying to get them, like, the recognition they deserve. I'm going to keep posting them on my Instagram. They're just so pretty. And I think I'm going to recreate them in pink as well. Like, pink and orange maybe or something. But I'm just adding a whole bunch of rhinestones. I was totally freestyling right here. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But I, uh, the charms kind of helped me figure it out. And I do end up going in with another one of these charms on the pinky, but with different color rhinestones. Step one. Wake up, brother, go ride the sun. Step two. Some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Yo, Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 And here I am finishing up the bling placement for the pinky. I am so in love. Oh my gosh, I can't stop saying that. This is like one of the prettiest sets I've ever made to me. Like, it's just so pretty. Here's a close-up of what the thumb actually looks like before I filed it. So cute. And here is the finished set. I did put it in a box and everything. You guys, I'm telling you, this set was not intended for me. But of course, I ended up putting it on. Um, I showed myself wearing them in the beginning of the video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I really hope you guys like the video video bye and i'll see you in the next one wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day